In the previous live stream, I showed you guys how to make one in Filmora X, which got a lot of views. So I'm gonna do one in CapCut, which is free and is a really good video editing software. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first, we need some stock footage to put in the background of the video. So the website I'm gonna use is Pexels, which is which provides like free stock videos. So let's go to the website. So here we are in uh, Pexels, so you can see there's a lot of videos, so I searched up nature. You can select the filters to change the orientation, so I'm going to change the orientation to horizontal, as that's what we need. So you can see there's a lot of footage, I might take one of these ones, which I'll choose one that looks nice and will look right. I like this one so I'm going to choose this one so let's download it so I'm going to download it in 720 so I could get a smaller file size So let's find another one, so this one looks alright, so it's by the same person, so let me download as well. I might blur the screen to hide personal information. So let's carry on looking for any more. So this one looks good as well, so I'm going to download this one and that's going to be it from Pixels for me. So now it's time to go back into CapCut and import the footage. So now I'm back in CapCut, so let's import the footage into CapCut. So all you do is press the import button. I may hide the screen again to hide personal information. So let's, I'm going to import all the footage, so I, I saved it in my download file or download folder so you guys would save it in different folder if you want. I imported all of it in, at once so all you do is select the files you need and then just press import. So that's what I did. So I got all my files. Uh, now it's time to import the files into the timeline. As you can see this is the timeline, this is the preview. As you can see, this is our settings, so... So, we got all the footage on the side, as you can see, so... What I'm gonna do is import it into the timeline. Now I'm gonna crop it as it's too long, so let's crop it. I'm gonna crop it to three seconds, the first clip. So I'm gonna do that for each one. So, so let me do that. You don't want your intro to be long, so that's why I've set it to 9 seconds, so now it's time to add the text. So, so all you do is you go into the text tab, which is at the top. So it's at the top, as you can see it says text. Then I'm going to press text templates on the side to get some templates up. You can see CapCut has a lot of templates you can use for your videos, so I think I'm going to choose one of these ones. So 
So I'm gonna choose this thanks for watching one because it looks alright. Download it and then just drag it into this project. And when I play it, you can see it looks alright. And it has a little animation at the end. So what I'm gonna do is change the text here. So to change the the text, you have to go to the right side, which you can see here. I can change the text. So what I'm gonna change to is to welcome the viewers. So I think that looks alright. So now I'm gonna do the next one. So I'm gonna find a new template which I can use. So let's see which one I can use. So I'm just calling to say I uh, let's see. I think this one looks nice, so I'm gonna add it. So in t so it's in time with the second video as well. So I might increase the time length of this one. Now I'll just drag it into next. So after that one, so there we go. Now it's time to change that text. So what you do is select it on the timeline, and it should be shown on the right. Now I'm going to edit it. So I might say, let's see what I can say. I might put our church name, so let's see. So the name I usually use is Decker Church. So that's the random name I made for, for this tutorial. I think that looks alright, let's see. Yeah, I think that looks alright. So now it's time to find one more template which I can use for like May God Bless You or something like that. I think this one looks alright, so I'm gonna download it and then just drag it in. Make sure it's in time with the video the background video so as you can see it is so now it's time to edit the text sorry for the movement in the video because it's hiding personal information so what I'm going to do is change the thanks to my god and then change the for watching to 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 bless you so I think that looks alright but I'm gonna change the colour to make it look a bit nicer so let's see what colour fits I think the green fits so looks alright so let's see So it looks alright, so let's play the video and see if it looks alright. I think that looks alright. So you could add music if you want. So you can see CapCut has a music tab at the top. It will be under audio. So when I open up audio, you can see it has a lot of songs. What I usually like using is the lazy, the lazy Sunday one. So I'm gonna import it and obviously adjust the volume so it doesn't distort. So what I usually leave out is like around 
minus 18 and then let's hear what it sounds like you guys may not hear in the live stream but i'll play at the end so you guys can hear what what the end result sounds like so i think it looks all right now it has music here's the text here's the background you can add your own watermark if you want so so i'm gonna add a watermark so all i'm gonna do is press the add text and get the default text and put it there and then drag it across so it covers the whole video of the, of the 9 seconds and double click so I can change the text so I'm gonna call it Deca Church as that's what I'm calling it for this tutorial put it in the corner reduce the size as well so it's not too big as you can see that looks alright so what I'm going to do is change the color We'll change the opacity so that is not too obvious So that looks alright, that being there So, so that looks alright So let's see what it would look like when we play the video I think that looks alright, so so basically that's basically how you do it. So I'll show you the video with the audio in a second. I'll import it into my live stream software and I'll play it at the end. So that's gonna be now, so let me play it now. So that's how you basically do a church intro in CapCut. It's easier because CapCut's free and you can use it on Windows and Mac. And it's free as well, so it's better than any other softwares. As CapCut is popular on phones, it's easier. And now they made a, a computer version. It's, it's even better than any other software like Shotcut or OpenShot. So this is a good editing software for churches to use as it's easier and the interface is easier to use. So that's how you make a church intro. Hope you guys enjoyed this live stream and hope you hope to see you guys in my next video.